things that we did really well in FSNet Africa was to invest time in strengthening the uh, relationships between the lead partners, in particular the University of Leeds and the University of Pretoria. I'm Elizabeth Mkandawere. I am the Network and Research Manager for the Food Systems Research Network for Africa, or FSNet Africa as we like to call it. And this is one of the flagship programs under the African Research Universities Alliance Center of Excellence in Sustainable Food Systems at the University of Pretoria. We spent quite a bit of time making sure that we traced or monitored the equitability of the partnership, whether everybody felt that they had equal voice to participate, whether everybody felt that they were contributing adequately. And I think that has really helped to strengthen the partnership. We don't live in isolation, I think that's the best way of putting it, right? We're influenced by trade that takes place, we're influenced by policies that take place externally. For example, the net zero policy has significant influence on our activities on the African continent. And so we can't afford to be working in isolation. Those partnerships are really important. Having African institutions that are close to the ground, close to the people, being able to generate insights and um, knowledge, drawing on indigenous knowledge in particular to inform policies is fundamental. Making those unheard voices uh, resonate with global agendas like the SDGs for example is critical, particularly if we're looking at um, actualizing the rights to food. One of the things that we've really tried to ensure that we do within FSNet Africa is to include the insights or the interests of different food system stakeholders into our research. I think that's critically important, particularly if we look at how the high-level panel of experts identified agency in particular as fundamental to transforming food systems. People from local communities being able to contribute to how they see their food systems looking like. Um, and I think FSNet Africa is deeply embedded in ensuring that people's voices are heard within policy and resonate in policy practice in research in particular.